Hello everyone, my name is Melissa and yesterday we learned about animal adaptations and I'm here today at Toucan Ridge to talk about another living species that green and they can't move and they also have adaptations and those are plants. So adaptations are something that um, living species needs to uh, change in order to find the things they need. And what do plants need? They need sunlight, air, water, and nutrients. So in the rainforest, it's really hot and humid. So these plants have to adapt to those conditions. And one of the really cool plants here in Toucan Ridge is the traveler's palm. The traveler's palm adaptations is that it has massive leaves. They could be up to 4.5 meters long, and those long leaves are needed to catch as much sunlight as possible. But another really cool adaptation is that the long leaf stems actually act like a rain gutter, and the rain will go down the leaf into the middle. And that woven pattern there um, actually holds water, hence the name Traveler's Palm. A traveler, a thirsty traveler, could actually pull the leaf stem away to get some water. But I wouldn't recommend drinking this water, it's pretty stagnant. Um, another thing it's in the rainforest is that it rains a lot. So plants actually have to have a um, living raincoat to make sure they don't get yunky and stinky. So I'm going to show you an activity that you could do at home if you have some tropical plants. And all you need is a spray bottle. And we can learn lots about adaptation is through their leaves because they have really cool shapes and textures that help them survive in those hot, humid environments. So what we could do is you could take your spray bottle and spray the leaf and see how it drips off the leaf and what happens on a lot of plants in the rainforest is that they have this little tip here called the drip tip. And it makes sure all the water gets off really quickly so they don't get moldy and stinky. Another cool thing that plants in the rainforest have is like a built-in ditch. So the water here kind of collects and slides right down to make sure they could dry off really quickly. Also plants tend to have their leaves point away with them to help them dry off. But there is one plant in the rainforest that does the complete opposite, and that is a bromeliad. It actually has very tiny roots, and for that reason, it needs to be high up in another tree. So it actually grows on a branch of another tree in the rainforest. And because its roots are very small, it's not very good at collecting water. So the leaves actually help collect water instead. So if you have one of these at home, or if you even have a pineapple, this is a cousin of the pineapple, you could try this. You spray the leaves, the water goes right in the middle. And this is okay. This little cup here stores the water and when the plant needs water it has it. So another uh, activity I'm going to show you is that um, forests, rain, a rainforest and even the forests here in Manitoba are divided in layers. The bottom layer is called the forest floor. So plants that grow on the forest floor tend to have leaves that are very small because all the, the plants growing on top are shading it. So it's adapted to have to grow in the shade. And as you move up higher into the, the forest, the layers change. The next level is understory. The leaves are a little bit bigger. The biggest layer is called the canopy. And this is the thickest layer. The leaves tend to be a little bit bigger. And then the largest trees are called emergent. So they poke out out of the canopy and they have massive leaves because they need more sunlight. So this game I'm going to show you is called Rainforest Layer Simon Says. So um, we all know how to play Simon Says. So I'm going to say Simon Says Forest Floor. So the action would be to get right down on the floor. The next one is Simon Says Understory. So we'll get a little bit taller. Our leaves are a little bit bigger because we need more sunlight. The next layer is Canopy. Our leaves, my arms are the leaves, are much bigger to catch all that sunlight. The next layer is Emergent. So we want to be really tall and reach up. We have super massive leaves. So to play this game, you can mix up the layers. You could say Simon says understory, Simon says canopy, Simon says emergent, understory. 
So of course, if I don't say Simon says, you're out. So adaptations just don't happen in the rainforest. They could happen here right in Manitoba. So one activity you could do is to check out your own backyard or even your house plants to find out their um, adaptations. So one thing um, in tropical rainforests is that trees tend to have very thin bark because they want to wear summer clothing to deal with the heat. And trees in Manitoba usually have thick bark. So you could go in your backyard, try to explore the adaptations of the plants and to get to know your living neighbors. Thanks everyone for joining us on our virtual spring break camp.